Hello there, Jay. All right, let's go. So copyright law internationally protects work of authorship. Good. However, despite its implementation, good, it has been noticed that the issue regarding patent law, we don't have to mention patent law again because it's already kind of fresh here. So we could say that this issue, uh, or even better, that this is a contentious issue and has grown in importance over the decades, or over the last few decades. <coughs> okay, um, so this is one of those sentences that we can easily master. Okay, um, so if you want, write out about five or six um, introduction sentences, um, trying to use the, it is a contentious issue that has grown in importance over the past few decades. Okay, um, this essay will discuss this phenomenon using music and publishing and using the, mu the music and publishing industry to demonstrate points and support arguments. Well done, good. Actually, so it would say the music and publishing industries to demonstrate points and support arguments. Well done for getting that sentence perfect. On the one hand, okay, paragraph one, paragraph two. Okay, this would be to debate sort of like just one argument and you would say yes they reward creativity and then on the other hand they destroy creativity. Okay, however we've got two questions here so we'll do firstly answering this one, secondly answering this one. This way we're going to nail the task response. First one, on the one hand, the rules and regulations of copyrights significant benefits to owners despite, despite the modern industry. Hmm. So let's see, how could we rephrase that? On the one hand, the rules and regulations of copyrights have significant benefits to the owner despite the modern industry. Okay, I don't really understand how you've, why you've put the despite there. Maybe we can just finish here. This is through the accumulated revenue that they obtain out of their craft of knowledge. Good. Furthermore, it can bestow awareness to consumers to be conscious and compel them, okay, let's keep it in the present tense, and compel them to follow rules when uploading videos. Okay. For example, Forbes magazine, with an E between the B and the S, conducted a recent study that showed that 80% of prominent music artist revenue is continuously rising. In addition, through patent law, every talented artist is motivated to employ such a law in order to penalise any illegal uploads. Okay then, so let's try and follow the sentence guide a little bit closer and we finish with the consequently, through patent law, um, Artists, um, artists can, let's see, can get paid for their efforts and this will motivate them to create more. Or this will be a major motivating factor for them to create more. Okay. Um, so here perhaps if we just had one sentence, yeah, and then this is because and then the for example and then finish with the consequently. On the other hand, society would not function better with such rules and regulations. Okay, good. Well done for putting centering it about society, but we just needed secondly. Okay? This is because consumers are not permitted to reproduce their products without proper patency. We can't say patency. Without proper uh, without permission. And if we're talking about consumers and their products, then I assume you're talking about the products of the consumers, and the consumers are not producing anything. That's why the consumers. This needs to be rephrased. This is because consumers are not permitted to pre reproduce um, products or works without permission. Okay. Take, for example, um, 
we can't make mistakes in these example sentences either. Take, for example, Thailand's public library. It shows that 15% of students' level of performance has decreased compared to the previous decade. Comma. This is because of the limited production of valuable references. Very good. This shows that students will be seen not completing school-related works with regulated patent law. Okay, so let's just simplify it and say, uh, this clearly shows students are struggling to complete school-related works due to patent law. Okay, let's conclude. Although administrative law is being applied to protect mainly the intellectual property, it must not be forgotten that, public, that the public also wants to obtain valuable knowledge and remain local. Uh, okay, valuable knowledge. We could just finish there. Okay, um, or valuable knowledge at a reasonable cost. Okay, um, so just to get some real improvement here, what I want you to do is give me five introduction sentences and five for example sentences. Okay, these are two sentences that we can master and we should be able to master. Okay, and um, what I want you to do, Jay is master it so that we can use these copy-paste sentences in any essay. So we'd say, for example, a recent study by Harvard showed that, okay, and then we're going to put in our argument. But I want you to, I want the next, for example, sentences, I want them to be perfect, okay? So we could say, for example, and the other one we could have perfect, uh, we could have um, as a copy paste one would be a take for example or a recent um, UK governmental study showed that okay if you can just master that little fragment then you're halfway there to get in a perfect example sentence well then for following the sentence guide here I have a structure that's really good so let's carry on and have a look at your test one Baz the bar chart above describes the percentage of calorie source for UK males between three groups of between three groups starting from 0 to 24, 24 to 49, and up to over ages 50. Good. The rest of the group of 0 to 24 shows that 40% of them consume dairy products, while meat and both vegetables are roughly half that of a good or of that. Meanwhile, courses are the least, which uh, with nearly 20 percentage of total intake. Very good, very good. Word of advice, I would have been tempted to just group all that together, okay, because we're going to get points for grouping. And you can see the difference is tiny, uh, so there's no harm in grouping that together. But well done for grouping the meat and vegetables together. That's genius. Well done. And also good for using meanwhile. Secondly, most of the 25 to 49 groups consumed meat which resulted in uh, okay which reached 50% of total intake on the other hand no we don't use on the other hand because that's to describe points of view okay here there is no point of view except the objective and the objective is usually is sort of like factual okay so we can't say on the other on the other hand um, we can what we can do though is start with the subject so we could say um so we've just consumed meat we just con mentioned meat so then we can just say dairy pulses and vegetables were at um 25 15 and 18 percentage of total intake or respectively of total percentage intake okay so try and get a respectively sentence in there. Last but not least, the vast majority of over 50 ages, okay, vast majority of the over 50 group consumed primarily pulses, which amounted to up to 65% of total intake. Good, comma. This was the highest percentage in the general list. Okay, this is the highest percentage of all intake. Full stop. Well done for noticing the maximum as well. Very good. 
is a do notist, we don't say that, we could just say um, vegetables. Okay, once again, starting with the subject, vegetables constantly decreased and ended um, last in rank at 15%. Okay, very good work there, Jay. In summary, although the calorie source of UK meals is constantly, is constantly changing in relation with their age, healthy lifestyles is considered we should. No, let's see. We don't mention healthy lifestyle because it's not, it's sort of like what I was saying before, it's subjective, it's information we've added. Okay, and we don't do that in an academic report. In summary, although the calorie source of UK meals constantly changed in relation with their age, um, each group has a clear favourite, um, full stop, or each group has a clear favourite, comma, um, vegetables is, ne yeah, full stop, vegetables is never, the vegetables are never the favourite source regardless of age. Okay, so what we can also do is note the exception in this, uh, in the graph, okay? So good work there. Remember to note the exception. Also in the next academic task one, I want to see a respect of the sentence. So you know the score now, Jay. What we need to do is implement the corrections. Send me back the corrected work. Send me back your two new pieces of work. And just remember to check them. And also, don't worry about the time, okay? Spend an hour on each task, if that's okay, or longer. What we're going to do is focus on accuracy, okay? Then once we've got the accuracy good, we're going to focus on time. This way, we're going to, um, it's more likely we're going to improve, okay? So keep going, doing good, and get that work to me, okay? All the best.